Hello, League members. This is important that you watch this video. I'm going to go over how to bid um, on free agents, our prospects, and how that process is going to work. So everyone will receive an email with a Google um, Doc link. When you open that link, you'll see like at the bottom here, it says free agent bidding. And this is how you will make your bids. So if I wanted to make a bid, the first thing um, that you're going to do is you're going to go to the the rosters and you can also use um, Yahoo, um, the free agents in Yahoo um, as an idea. So if I click here in the NL, I see Garrett Hampson's available. Um, I go to the rosters on the Google Doc. I just double check. I can hit um, Control F and I can type in, it'll pull up Hampson and he's not on the sheet. It says zero, zero. So that means I know I can uh, place a bid. So I'm going to go, I'm going to put player name. Um, you can use his full name, let's see. Here at Hampson. Let's say I want to bid 15 bucks on him. I have to put the date and then the time, 11.25 p.m. and then the team name. So I'd put link NL. Now, if a player isn't bid on for 24 hours, that player is sold. So it's going to be important that you know, at least at some point every day that you check this, if you want to get bids in, uh, to make sure that, you know, you're consistently bidding on players you want, because if a player goes for 24 hours and hasn't been bid on, that player is going to be sold. So once a player is sold, the, um, what you're going to do is you're going to go, to, you're going to click the link or the, the sheet where it says rosters. And you're going to go ahead and put that player on your team. Now, I understand there's still um, Yahoo has not put um, their um, injured list up. So there's players that are currently on the old DL that you cannot put in a DL spot. I'm not sure how long it's going to take for them to do that. But I know there's still some um, owners in the league that cannot add players because they either don't have enough space or they can't put minor leaguers in the NA spot because um, teams haven't obviously announced who's going to be in the minor leagues. So um, what I'll recommend you do is just when you win a player, go ahead and put them on this roster on the Google Doc. And if you can add them to Yahoo, add them to Yahoo. Um, you won't be required to drop anybody until – March 19th, a day before opening day. So you can keep everybody on your roster until that point, until there's spring training battles that are finally decided. Um, you can hold on to players. I, I will say, if you know that there's certain players on your team that aren't going to make your roster, it, you know, it, do everybody in the league a favor and just release them. And it'll also help you to make sure you can add those players to your Yahoo roster instead of... Um, you know, waiting till the last day. Now, if there's players that you're unsure of and not sure what to do with, that's fine. You can hold them on your roster. But for instance, I had Liriano and I, I went ahead and cut him so I could add one of my minor leaguers onto Yahoo. Um, another thing that's important is you can click on this prospects tab and Ben, thank you for doing this, but he went ahead and the top 250 prospects are on here. Everybody in blue has already been kept, but you see like the white um, lines, like here's Casey Mize for Detroit. Um, he's available um, and you can go down and, and that's a way you can check for uh, some of the, the best minor leaguers or prospects that aren't on rosters. Um, again, you can, you can have 20 minor league, you can, you can bid on 20 minor leaguers or have 20, but, by March 19th, you have to cut your roster down. Uh, remember, there's no bench spots, um, and you can only have 16 minor leaguers between both teams. So 
that is how we're going to do the bidding. And final thing, when you are done, um, or when a player is sold, make sure you update, right, your list here, um, your, your money. So like if, uh, you know, if I, if I bid, I've got a $15 and I win the bid, I'm going to go ahead and take that $15 out of my budget. And when a player is sold, what we'll do is we'll just highlight and then we'll put that player in, in yellow so they know that their budget is now locked down um, with the amount that was bid on taken away from their budget, if that makes sense. But this is the, this is the way we're going to do the free agent bidding. So if you have questions, uh, please reach out. I will send out the link. And, you know, make sure you're checking every 24 hours because we don't want anybody to miss out on a, um, on a player. Thank you and uh, good luck this season.